The big picture here is that the Arctic is changing, and so we've seen dramatic changes in sea ice in the Arctic in the last two decades. To study all of these changes is really essential to have scientists actually in the field making measurements throughout the entire yearly cycle. The cool part of the Mosaic project is that we had an icebreaker frozen into the sea ice on site for the entire year. The ice was much more dynamic than we expected. What I mean by dynamic is sea ice is, is floating and individual pieces of ice can actually break apart and move relative to another. And this is something that we think is going to happen more and more in the new Arctic, because in the new Arctic, the ice is thinner, and thinner ice is, is more prone to breaking and cracking and, and so forth. We know that the climate is warming. We see a, a significant ice response to that in terms that the ice is thinner and may start melting sooner than it has in previous years. We've known for, for decades that snow has a large impact on how much sea ice grows in the winter. Although we've known this is true for a long time, we're learning a lot more from this expedition about how this process actually works. And part of that is that we have access to technology that we didn't have in the past. On the 1997-1998 Sheba expedition, they were primarily measuring snow distribution with meter sticks and, and survey tape. For this expedition, a large part of the Dartmouth effort went into using terrestrial laser scanners to make really high resolution maps of the snow surface. I made these maps over time so that we could see how the snow surface was changing. With these data, we're getting much higher resolution and a much more complete picture of how the snow, the snow surface and the snow distribution is changing. And that helps us better understand the, the causes of different ice growth rates throughout the winter that are, that are caused by snow. Broadly speaking, my research here on, at Thayer is understanding the role that, that snow on sea ice plays in controlling how much sea ice grows throughout the winter. On the Mosaic project, myself and my, my colleagues collected an enormous amount of data on how the snow surface changed over the course of the winter how snow accumulation progressed, and also how ice thickness changed. And so these data that we collected will form the backbone of my dissertation research here. The data and the research that come out of this expedition will enable us to build better climate models, and will enable us to build better predictions of what's going to happen. And I think that understanding what is going to happen with the future of the Arctic is critical to understanding what will happen with the future of the rest of our planet with climate change.